Hello, I just want to quickly show some of the current integration points between IBM Connections and the Cisco products. Uh, here I'm logged into IBM Connections. I'm in a community focused around the IBM and Cisco partnership. Um, and I decide that I want to host a WebEx meeting or it's time for me to host a, a call with the team. Um, on this menu item at the top, More, if I click that, I have a bunch of applications available to me, and one of them is host a WebEx meeting. So if I click there, I'm immediately taken into my, uh, my WebEx environment where I can launch my meeting. Uh, so let me close that for a second uh, in the meeting. And let me show you another uh, integration point. So what I can also do is that maybe I want to chat with uh, somebody using Spark. If I click on my little uh, chat icon here at the top, I'm put into my uh, Spark environment, and I can start uh, collaborating, chatting, uh, co having converse real-time conversations with uh, anybody in my buddy list. Okay, now let's go back to the connections community, and this is a, this is those are a couple integrations points right out of uh, connections. Let me switch over to the mail that we have called IBM Verse, and I'll show you a couple of integration points there. First of all, at the top I have this what we call important to me list. So these are people that I've been corresponding with frequently recently. Um, if I want to chat with uh, Gary, if I just hover over the chat icon with him, I'm immediately put into a, a Spark session where I can collab where I can chat with uh, Gary. One-on-one, uh, -on -one. you can see some of the conversations that we've been having here. Uh, and another one is if I want to uh, say I've got a meeting scheduled. I had one, let's see, last Friday, um, right here. And right out of the meet, this is my little uh, calendar bar at the bottom, so I can see my inbox and my calendar all in one view. If I click on the little spot where that calendar entry was, um, I can go right into that uh, Spark meeting right from my calendar. Similarly, I can, if I want to schedule a meeting, I come over here to my calendar and say I want a new meeting this afternoon. Just click the new button, uh, and it will default to using my my WebEx room as my default online meeting. It's already pre-populated pre in my invites. So those are just a couple of the integration points that we have right now in the Connections Cloud environment and WebEx. There are many more to come. Uh, let me show you a couple more uh, real quickly. Now I want to show you is if I'm logged into my iPad, I'm projecting my iPad on my screen so I could record it. If I go into my WebEx meeting on my iPad, um, I could join this particular call. And if I wanted to share content with the participants in this WebEx, um, I can click on the Share Content button, and one of my choices is IBM Connections. So it looks at the files that I have shared in my Connections environment, and then I can choose one of those as the, as the subject of the content that I want to share in my, in my WebEx meeting. Similarly, um, if I am in Spark, and say I'm chatting here with Gary again, and I want to share a file with Gary, I click the little file folder, and one of my choices is files that I have in my connections environment. So those are a couple of the integration points that I that we have um, already uh, set up between um, the mobile applications, uh, WebEx, Spark, and uh, the connections client on the on the mobile devices. There, like I said before, there are more to come. This is just where we happen to be right now in this integration uh, process.